Okay, so last time I got the batteries out of the Vectrix. Today I'm trying to charge them. At first I tried charging them with a little, uh, basically 48 volt nominal uh, smart nickel charger. And it didn't work. It just saw the batteries as a, hey, I'm not hooked up to anything. So I just used a big dumb charger that I can run at different voltages. Uh, connected that up, um, uh, hooked it up, let it charge on the low setting, starting with um, one of the lowest um, I started with the lowest voltage, let it charge for a while, clicked it up to the next voltage, got it up to around 54 volts, and then I connected the charger and that charged for a while, and uh, now it's over onto the trickle charge. I also got a little watts up meter, which seemed to work pretty well. Um, so right now it's showing me the volts, and I'm only charging at about 100 milliamps right now. Um, so I am getting some juice into the pack, uh, which is a good sign, but I have no idea how many bad cells there are in there yet, and I also have no idea um, how many cells are just, just really low capacity. But when I got this bike, the seller said that um, it kept having lower and lower range until one day it just didn't turn on. So uh, no matter what, the cells are not great, but it would be cool to at least get the bike to boot up. So now on the other half of the pack, I'm doing the same thing here. I'm using that big dumb charger just to get a little juice in there, and then I can kick it over to uh, that smart trickle charger. And then I also borrowed a friend's uh, CellPro PowerLab 6 that's hooked up for a 24 volt system, but I forgot to download the right software for it, so I don't have that running yet. But hopefully when I have that, I can do some more smart charging here. Unfortunately, it's really only designed in its current setup for doing one cell at a time, and we're talking like 54 cells uh, in that battery right there. So um, need a higher voltage uh, serial charger. But the Cell Pro should be great for individual charging. And I also mail ordered a uh, bench power supply that I should be able to use for uh, individual charging as well. Now, the other thing that's interesting is uh, the space inside the Vectrix here is about 28 inches long, uh, nine inches across, and about a foot deep. And I measured these uh, nickel cells that I have from the Ford Escape, and if you put two of them in a row, uh, which is how they actually were configured in the Ford Escape battery, um, that is, oh, let's see, about 26, 27 inches. Uh, so two of them in a row, like this, will fit in the battery box. So if I do a whole bunch of those, connects to the end, back and forth, back and forth, um, I should be able to make a 125 volt pack that'll just fit right in there with, you know, some sort of spacers and something holding it in place, but, uh, uh, should be able to get that to work, assuming I have enough, uh, of the bus bars and bolts and everything. 